Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. This month, uh, what is it, July 2021, um, has been all about dailies for me, daily planning, mostly because I have been um, designing a lot of new dailies for the shop. I decided to go with like a theme, um, and so there's actually five new daily inserts that will be up in the shop by the time this video goes live um, that you can check out. So there's a link to that in the corner, but that's not what today's video is about. Uh, today, I, uh, I, like a month ago, asked uh, on a poll on YouTube, uh, on the, what, the community page tab, it you got to choose a uh, a topic. I, I put up a couple of topics to pick from and the overwhelming winner was my favorite dailies. So first off, if you're not subscribed, uh, you might have missed that. So subscribe now so you don't miss that next time. I get the chance to ask for suggestions and then uh, let's just jump right into it. This is going to be dailies from old planners. I have like this stack of old inserts from my ring planner, I've got my very first Bujo here to show you a couple of things, then I think there's one in here too. Um, so let's just get started. So the first spread I wanted to talk about, this is very, very early on in my planning career. Um, so this had been like the very second, third week that I started Bujoing um, in here. And um, this is, I, I probably, I, I wanna say that it was from like Tiny Ray of Sunshine. It was the one who introduced me to the Alistair method, which I have been loving ever since for all kinds of stuff. Um, so I've, I've done a whole video about what the Alistair method is. So I'll link that in the corner. But basically, um, this is what I call an Alistair weekly, where basically you have columns for the days of the week and then you put the task here. And so I kind of, I like having um, a weekly to-do list and I like getting credit for doing stuff. So I didn't like the thought of having a weekly to-do list where I check it off and I don't know when I did it. So I like this concept here where you could actually assign tasks to a specific day. Um, and in this case, back when I very first started doing it, uh, you can see things actually, there's just a migration symbol because I added it to an actual like daily, um, but you can use this even without a daily. You can migrate something to the next day or the next day. I like the horizontal line because um, it kind of helps you to see when you're looking at the list here what has and hasn't been assigned a day yet. And um, yeah, I ha you can do this nicely on like a full page habit tracker spread. Um, I have one in my shop. It's called an Alistair Weekly. Uh, I have one from Peanuts Planner Co. also that's like a weekly habit tracker. And then you'll also see this spread referred to, I think, as a, um, what do they, people call it, like a rolling weekly or something. That's not really what that is. Um, I've seen this called something else, but I have to say, like, I'm not claiming that I came up with the concept, but I did at least start doing it independently of anyone else. So that's just my little thing. Here's another example. Um, this was from February 2020, or I think, yeah. Um, so this is on the Peanuts Planner Co. insert, like I mentioned. While we're here, I um, also wanted to just talk about the standard Bujo Daily Rapid Log, which I still use every so often um, if I'm not feeling like a more elaborate daily fits my needs. It's great because you can pick, you don't have to like des designate an area of the page for your daily. You can just use half the page. If it's a short day, you can use the whole page. Um, back in this A5, I was doing two columns, so things were pretty tight and I was able to fit a lot of space. Um, most days now when I do a, a rapid log, uh, it does not get columns because I'm in a pocket size, but I still do them. Um, and it just usually looks something like this. And it is a very simple and easy way to do it. I did an entire month where I was doing just really basic, like one pen, one page um, bullet journaling. And that was, um, I want to say like 2019, maybe 2018. I called it the Minimalist Bujo Challenge. And I'll if, drop up a link if I uh, remember to do that. It's go to it's simple it's standard the thing is like you can do this with literally nothing um and so that's what makes it a super easy way to like, get started especially if you're feeling like you're in a rut and what you really need is just like a brain dump and like to get a couple of easy wins and just jump start your day um and you don't have anything printed out or prepared or decorated heaven forbid just you know do a rapid log 
The next thing I really like having on my dailies, and not every single day is this way, but sometimes I feel like I really enjoy having a time ladder. That's where you have the hours of the day along a column like this um, so that you can set up, you know, spaces in your day, uh, time blocking, that kind of thing. Um, and so this is actually, I think, a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. on her Facebook group, and I wrote the time ladder in myself. Um, this one is from t uh, My Summer Touch has a time ladder in there um and so you know that's what i enjoyed having that there this is what six to eight six to eight those are both the same uh, as far as hours go and then i also have a time ladder on this one here oh this is seven to nine uh this guy i wanted to give a special honorable mention um this is a the stick the post-it notes from um peanuts planner co she has little post-it note dailies that are super awesome because like sometimes this is going to be a tangent. Think of this as, I don't know, option, uh, item number four, but um, that this little sticky note guy, sometimes I feel like I like working out of a weekly and not dailies, and then I suddenly will find that I need a daily for a specific day that's just like super busy or has a lot of tasks. I Sometimes I'm more productive when I have a longer list of smaller tasks that I can check off more often. So um, having a little sticky note daily that you can just slap down anywhere is super useful and I really like this guy. But I was talking about time ladders. Um, I really like being able to, I think, oh, this was, oh yes, I was going to show you this one too. This one is the same um, freebie daily, but I actually was using this as like a, a schedule for, this was back when I was on maternity leave last year. This was my weekly, but then this was like a daily schedule to sort of show me the outline of my entire day. And I just like being able to mark off things. Like here I have, you know, these are the PBS shows that we're going to have available because I definitely was tired. I marked off the nap. And so I knew like, okay, here's some things to do in the morning, some things to do in the afternoon. Um, this is when bedtime starts. And then, you know, I can look ahead in my day and time blocking. I still, I still have time ladders in the dailies I'm using right now. Um, Right now I'm using one for my own shop. This is insert 22. And so I mark off like my um, work hours. Or for example, here's Monday. Here's the day I'm filming this. Excuse me. Or for example, uh, this is the day I'm filming this. This is my work hours. I haven't filled out much of my daily because I usually do that throughout the day. Um, but I'm actually trying to get up earlier uh, so I got up at 4.30 this morning to film this um, and jumpstart my day. So we'll see if, how that works. It worked well for me for a while, but the baby's been, you know, nursey overnight. So um, all that was to say, I like time letters. <laughs> this is back to last week. Uh, the next thing on my list that I like on a daily is sections. Um, I know that not everybody, and not every single day, is always exactly the same. So... Um, you definitely like have to have some flexibility in there, but I really like having sections to have different to-do lists for different things. So like there's certain to-do items I can do on my lunch break, others that I have to do when I'm out and about after picking up the girls say there's, um, I like having a section designated for dinner plans for the evening or for what laundry we're going to do. Um, I definitely have a separate checklist for the evening after the girls go to bed because that's when I get a lot of my, um, Ganchy stuff done. But now that's actually, like I said, hopefully moving to the morning. But that's why I have the morning mark marked off. That's what I use all these little headers for that I got from Mad Hatter Stickers Co. Uh, so that's why I like to design my own dailies with a lot of different sections. Um, but I know there's others that are like that too. This one, uh, back to the one from My Summer Touch, has two different sections here. And so I was able to have like to do's here and then. This was like a specific section. Don't forget, this is for, I, I don't remember, but I think we were going somewhere and needed a couple of things to bring. And then we were going to stop for donuts on the way home. So I like had a separate checklist for donuts and there was room for that on my daily. So that's not always what the sections are for. They're not always for donuts. Sometimes it looks like this is for um, the book review I did for the crib sheet book uh, back when I was doing book reviews on my channel. So sections, I like having that kind of flexibility. 
which speaking of uh, the very last thing, which was going to be five, but I guess the sticky note was number four. So this is number six um, is some flexibility. I don't always have things set up the way I have them set up right now in my planner. Obviously, I usually switch up my weekly and daily um, inserts that I'm using every maybe two months or so. But um, right now I currently have printed out um, sort of a weekly checklist and then dailies decided which dailies I'm going to be using for the whole week. But a lot of times, like I said, I like to work off of a daily and just have the occasion, sorry, work off of a weekly and have the occasional daily slotted in. That's where those sticky notes come in really handy, which I think I have, here they are. I can throw in a sticky note um, with a, a daily on it, or sometimes, and this has worked really well when it's the time for it, um, I will have just the weekly set up and then I'll have just an assortment of different dailies. Um, and then I will use whichever daily feels correct if when I need a daily for the day. So the thing too to notice, when this has worked really, really well for me, is when I don't care the order of them. That I can go and say, all right, I want to use this, you know, insert 22 on Monday. And the next day, that's not the right one for me. On Tuesday, I need to use this other specific insert that say it's, you know, insert 46, which I just released in my shop. Um, and then on Wednesday, I want to go back to this one and fill it in. And then on Thursday, I don't need a daily. And then on Friday, uh, I'm just going to do a rapid log. So I just have a grid page in here. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I'm using the weekend daily, something like that. And it's a mess. Um, like if you were going to just be flipping through it, but the thing is every single day works really well for what that day is. So like I wake up in the morning, I look at what my day has in store, um, and I pick the daily layout that fits for that day. Like I said, I don't always do that right now. I'm set up for the whole week like this. But when I do do that, it's usually a really good fit. It, what that usually means is that I'm very attuned to what's going on in my life. Um, and that is something that's good, right? So the better you understand your needs, the better you can pick the spread that you need for that day. And also, I guess the other way around that, like if you're using a variety of different concepts, then you're able to pick one. You're like, oh, you know what? That strategy worked really well on a day that was similar to this one. And then you can uh, tailor your planning to a specific need for a specific day. So I guess that brings it full circle. And that is all I had to share with you today. Those are some of my favorite elements, not specifically five spreads that I like, but five or I guess six um, elements of dailies that I really enjoy. Things that I look for in a good daily spread. And um, don't forget to check out the shop. Like I mentioned, I just released five new daily inserts. Some of them with some of these principles. Others are a little bit less so, but um, hopefully there's something that you like. Uh, and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye.